month of February. We're going to go through a number of bills, but for starters, on the second and third pages and fourth pages of your voting list, you'll see a large number of bills that in the status, uh, the status conference, the status column, have the letter W. These are all bills that have been withdrawn. I'm going to provide, because sometimes we, people, you know, still want to, you know, whatever. Uh, does anybody, I'm going to take this all as a consent calendar unless somebody wants to pull a bill out. No? All in favor of the with all in favor all in favor of uh, the there's a motion for an unfavorable on all of the withdrawn bills and in, and I think I heard a second all all in favor of unfavorable withdrawn for all of those raise your hands all opposed all right so those are all taken care of all right so now we're on the bills. Hit your mic. I'm sorry. Um, when we say unfavorable withdrawn, that won't show up. So if they come back again next year, it won't look like we voted against it. Voted no, against it, it right. just is an unfavorable motion, but it says unfavorable withdrawn because okay. the sponsor withdrew the bill. Okay, that's why. Thank. You. That's why I was giving people the chance to, if you really desperately wanted to vote for one of those, we could have, but. They're withdrawn, so the sponsor is not moving forward, okay. so you wouldn't do that. Thank you. Okay. Let's start uh, with House Bill 5. Um, I don't believe that there are any amendments with House Bill 5. Is there a motion? There's a motion for a favorable and second. Is there further or any discussion on House Bill 5? Seeing yes, we passed it last year. Uh, seeing none, the motion is for a favorable. The vice chair, yes. Delegate Munoz, yes. yes. Crutchfield, yes. yes. Cardin, yes. Sample Hughes is out of the room for a moment. Embry, yes. yes. Pasteur. Yes. Tolls? Yes. yes. Schmidt? Yes. yes. Simmons? Yes. yes. Boucher? Yes, sir. yes. Phillips? Yes. yes. Roberson? Yes. yes. Tomlinson? Yes. yes. Erican? Yes. yes. Taylor? Yes. yes. Simpson? Yes. yes. Grammar? Yes. yes. Moon? Yes. yes. Valentine? Yes. yes. Conaway? Yes, Kaufman. Yes. Don't see Williams. I don't see Sample Hughes. So the favorable motion is adopted with more than enough votes anyway. Um, I'm going to hold on to House Bill 8. I uh, need to check something uh, with, I uh, want to find out with JPR what they're, what they're doing, but I don't know if they've got an amendment or something. So before we move it, I'm going to check with them. House Bill 70. It's a motion for a favorable and a second. Discussion on the bill. Oh, my. Okay. I think we've also done this one before. I, I will say, we'll see what uh, the Judicial Proceedings Committee is doing, but there we go. The Vice Chair. Yes. The Vice Chair, yes. Munoz. Munoz, yes. Crutchfield, yes. yes. Cardin, yes. yes. Sample Hughes, Embry, yes. Pasteur, yes. yes. Tolls, yes. Schmidt, yes. yes. Simmons, yes. yes. Boucher, yes. Phillips, yes. yes. Roberson, yes. yes. Tomlinson, yes. yes. Erican, yes. yes. Taylor, Yes, Simpson. Yes, Grammar. Yes, Moon. Yes, Valentine. Yes, Conaway. Yes, Kaufman. Yes, Williams. Yes. Uh, almost 
Everybody. Next, the less questionable sponsor. There's a motion for a favorable and a second. Is there discussion on the bill? Wow. And you're, you're really giving them a stink eye right now, too? All right. Is, that, is there discussion on the bill? I'm uh, not seeing any discussion. All right. We'll go to the roll call. The vice chair? Yes. Yes. Munoz? Yes. Yes. Crutchfield? Yes. Yes. Cardin? Mm, okay. Sample Hughes? Yes. Embry? Yes. Pasteur? Yes. Tolls? Yes. Schmidt? Yes. Simmons? But only for the vice chair? Yes. Boucher? Yes. Phillips? Yes. Roberson? Yes. Tomlinson? Yes. Erican? Yes. Taylor? Yes, Simpson. Yes, Grammar. Yes, Moon. Yes, Valentine. Yes, Conaway. Yes, Kaufman. Yes, Williams. Yes. Thank you. She said thank you, everybody. <laughs> Delegate Pasteur's bill now, House Bill 94. There's a motion for a favorable and a second. Is there any discussion on this piece of legislation? Seeing none, we'll go to the roll call on the favorable. The vice chair? Yes. Yes. Munoz? Yes. Yes. Crutchfield? Yes. Yes. Cardin? Yes. Yes. Sample Hughes? Yes. yes. Embry? Yes. Pasteur? Yes. Okay, now. Yes. Tolls? Yes, Schmidt. Yes, yes Simmons. Yes. yes, Boucher. Yes, Phillips. Yes, yes Roberson. Yes. yes, Tomlinson. Yes, yes Erican. Yes. yes, Taylor. Yes, yes Simpson. Yes. yes, Grammar. Yes, yes Moon. Yes. yes, Valentine. Yes, yes. yes Conaway. Yes. yes, Kaufman. Yes, yes. yes. Williams. Yes. yes. 94, or House Bill 94 passes with a favorable. Okay, House Bill 137. There is a motion for a favorable and a second. Is there discussion on the legislation? Delegate, no, oh, from multiple sources. Uh, Delegate Kaufman to begin, then Crutchfield, then Cardin. Uh, I will. Um with all due respect to my good friend from Essex, I, I, I will be voting no on this bill because I think it creates a, a slippery slope and I, would, I always hesitate to uh, support bills that close the courthouse doors. So I will be consistent because I voted against this last year and vote against it again. Last year as well, but I wanted to find out, is this the same bill as last year? Okay. And so what about the different school policies, et cetera? Because there are school policies that talk about, you know, teachers not intervening and altercations, et cetera. Have you had or done any research regarding that within the state or talked to the State Board of Education regarding it? The, the local boards, what they tend to do is just say don't get involved, and that's kind of the crux of the problem. Um, they can't really give advice, you know, uh, that, that they think would be against their own liability interests uh, because you know how do you how do you how do you cover that when a teacher could be found liable in these situations so really what they the only thing they can tell teachers is uh, even if the student is really you know getting quite harmed you, know, you shouldn't get involved even though the teacher wants to step in and protect the child so it's really minor and in my opinion very small way we can protect these teachers and really prevent harm in the classroom yeah because one of the other things I think about is what is reasonably prudent you know, um, I don't know, or if you have an example or thought behind it. Well, I mean, it, like, as we always discuss, it's based on the finding of facts. Um, but that's, the, that's language we worked out with the Association for Justice, and they were comfortable with it. So if they're comfortable, you know, I'm comfortable. Okay, and I know it also tracks federal law as well. Correct. Correct? Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm... 
I'm curious, and maybe this is something for staff um, or delegate grammar, but if you if something is reasonably prudent and is not con does not constitute gross negligence, where is negligence falling in that? So it could be reasonably prudent but still be negligent, and they would be civilly immune, or if they're reasonably prudent, by definition, they can't be negligent. I'm not exactly sure. So I'm just, I'm just curious to, to know how that all works, because it would seem to me weird that we are saying that a, it doesn't have to necessarily just be a teacher. It could be anybody in a, in a school support system. So a, a janitor tries to um, stop a, a fight, the guy turns around, punches him, the janitor pushes the guy out of the way to stop from getting hurt, then he gets sued. Was he negligent? Was he not negligent? Was he reasonably prudent? Certainly wasn't grossly negligent. I'm just, it was he, is he immune because he did push the kid, broke his arm, and, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure it out. Be in the case where they were prudent, but... But negligent. Prudent, not grossly negligent, but maybe slightly negligent? Yeah. Prudent but negligent. <clears throat> so you have a, a teacher. He weighs 300 pounds. He's trying to separate two kids. He trips, falls on one. He's clearly not grossly negligent, but maybe you, someone could argue that in being so such a massive man, he was slightly negligent. Um, that, that could be the case. Uh, but again, this was language that was provided to us by the, by the defense attorney. So by, the, by, the trial, by the plaintiff? Association of Justice, yeah. Okay. Further discussion? Doug Taylor? Yes, I noticed that uh, MSEA and the Anne Arundel Public Schools are in favorable. Um, I, I'm just curious if last year, if this is the same bill, were they the same two MSEA and Anne Arundel Public Schools that, that were in favor? Were there other school systems in favor? Have there ever been any other school systems in favor? I believe this is the first year they, they spoke in support of the bill. So I don't, I don't remember any school system speaking of last year. I remember it, we had some individual teachers come last year uh, to testify, but, but not the school systems themselves. Yeah, I think we have a, a situation in, in my um, district where a principal, in, you know, tried to break up a fight or did yeah. something. And, um, I don't know if he was sued for it, but I know he was um, – dismissed. <laughs> I mean, suspended, I think it was. So um, it wouldn't... It, Not exactly. This would only yeah. apply if he was being sued by the family of a kid that maybe he harmed in the... Um, I, I wouldn't say that exactly. I would say that teachers could still be sued in certain uh, cases. But, you know, if you read the bill and the text, uh, and that's what Delegate Cardin was mentioning, it really would have to be um, fallen with the guidelines... Uh, that would be protected as long as the teacher was acting prudently. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I'm working on a totally separate bill, but this just kind of hit me. Um, so in the education article, we it already says a principal teacher, school security guard, or other school system personnel in any public school may take reasonable action necessary to prevent violence on school premises or on a school-sponsored trip, including intervening in a fight or physical struggle that takes place in his or her presence, whether the fight is among students or other individuals. Um, so, I mean, the article, I mean, it, it does say may. I do want to say that. But, I mean, our law already is giving teachers the the ability to, to intervene and to, and to stop this. So I don't know why. Why, yeah, so, why do we not give them that? For, yeah, protection? so that's their uh, governing the conduct. This is the Courts and Judicial Proceedings article, which uh, governs liability, and that's what the bill is, is in relation to. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with you on this. I'm just – I'm saying it seems to me like this this bill just gives that, uh, the edu that piece of the education article reinforcement. I agree 100 percent. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So just to answer um, Delegate Taylor's question – um, last year, we had either here or JPR. Um, the Baltimore Teachers Union were favorable. The MSCA was favorable, both here and JPR. The um, Anne Arundel County um, public school system did 
um, submit testimony in JPR. Um, and did I say the bar? Yeah. And so just to let you know, those were the, they were, Anne Arundel was um, favorable last year as well. Thank you. All right, are there further, Delegate Moon? Um, thank you, Mr. Chair. Just in response to one of the um, concerns that was raised about shutting the door to the courtroom, the trial lawyers did suggest an amendment to this bill a couple years ago that came onto the bill into its current form, and I don't believe are opposing this now. And it's because I think the, the wording was that they, they wanted it to limit it to situations where the teacher was acting in a reasonably prudent manner. So, um, so at least I, I think we quelled that concern. The previous. <laughs> Motion for the previous question. Is there a second? All right, we're on the bill. The vice chair? Yes. Yes. Munoz? Yes. Yes. Crutchfield? Uh, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> the next person to vote is Delegate Charlotte <laughs> Crutchfield. No. Cardin. Sorry? How are you voting? <laughs> yes. Sample Hughes. Yes. Embry. Yes. <laughs> yes. Pasteur, yes. yes. Tolls, yes. yes. Schmidt, yes. yes. Simmons, yes. yes. Boucher, yes. yes. Phillips, yes. yes. Roberson, yes. yes. Tomlinson, yes. yes. Erican, yes. yes. Taylor, yes. yes. Simpson, yes. yes. Grammer, yes. yes. Moon, yes. yes. Valentine, yes. yes. Conaway. Yes, Kaufman. No. no. Williams. Yes. yes. Favorable passes. All right. Going now to House Bill. I haven't even called the bill. <laughs> All right. Everyone pay attention to delegate tolls now, all right? Everybody's paying attention to delegate tolls and looking right at her. House Bill 300, is there a motion? There's a motion for a favorable in a second. For all of you in the audience, this is how we always are. Yeah, right. Whew. This is Hunter's first full real voting session, by the way, and I'm just saying. Hunter and Kara, they're traumatized now. I don't even know. All right, so um, there are no, uh, there's motion for a favorable and a second. Is there a discussion at the risk of having yeah. delegate tolls come right at you? On the bill. Uh, <laughs> there we go. All right. Delegate Williams. <laughs> Um, Delegate Tolls, if I recall correctly, you had introduced this bill during the Month of Love. Is that correct? Oh, all right. So for that reason, I guess I support it. <laughs> the last day we have. <laughs> no. I know. All right. Mowage. All right. <laughs> Mowage is what brings us together today. Mowage. What? Do I have to vote the bill now? Fine. It's your first full one, and you're getting feisty now back there. I don't like that either. All right. It's from the Princess Bride. Yes, this is true. The public is watching. 
God help us. The vice chair. Yes, Munoz. Yes, Crutchfield. Yes, Carden. Yes, I don't think that means what you think it means. The sample Hughes. Yes, Embry. Yes, Pasteur. Yes, Tolls. Oh, that's very nice. That's right. Tolls is yes. Schmidt. Yeah, yes. Never get married to a bill. Simmons. Yes. Boucher. Oh, Phillips. Yes. Roberson. Oh, for the love of God. Roberson. <laughs> oh, Tomlinson. Eric Hinn. Taylor. Yes, Simpson. Yes. Grammar. Yes. Moon. Yes. Valentine. Yes. Conaway. Yes. Oh, okay. No. The Kaufman. Yes. Williams. Yes. Ooh. Okay. House Bill 300 passes favorable. Let us indeed count the ways. All right. Thank you very much. House Bill 325. Uh, there's a motion for a favorable. Is there a second? Second. Oh, there's a question. Sorry. Delegate yeah, what, Eric Hinn. Could, could, could the sponsor just tell us what this bill does? Because oh. it's probably so in the freaking weeds, but we just need to know. How to make sure I have the right one. It's a bill on stiffs and gifts, so. Uh, it's estates and trusts, sorry. Interested, what, what is the definition of an interested person establishing that the person, um, wait, uh, hold on one second. Court's indulgence. <laughs> okay. If, if a person is no longer um, an interested party, in, our, in other words, they've been paid off, they've been, they've been removed for some reason, they are no longer considered an interested person in terms of having to be not given notice so that they, so we can save everybody time and money. That's it. They already got the watch, therefore. Although I think that there was all kinds of questions about that. Nailed it. Got it. Yes. Further questions? Discussion on the bill? Motions for a favorable to vice chair? Yes. Yes. Munoz? Yes. yes. Crutchfield? Yes. Yes. Carden? Yes. yes. Sample Hughes? Yes. yes. Embry? Yes. yes. Pasteur? Yes. yes. Tolls? Yes. yes. Schmidt? Yes. yes. Simmons? Yes. Yes. Boucher? Yes. yes. Phillips? Yes, Roberson. Yes, Tomlinson. Yes, Erican. Yes, Taylor. Yes, Simpson. Yes, Grammar. Yes, Moon. Yes, Valentine. Yes, Conaway. Conaway excused. Kaufman. Yes, Williams. Yes, favorable passes. Okay, 326, also Delegate Cardin's bill. Is there a motion? Motion for a favorable and a second. This one uh, uh, essentially says that you only have to give notice to interested persons as opposed to, um, or anybody who's unpaid as opposed to giving notice to everyone. Um, which would be anybody who may have somehow been involved at some point in the matter. Okay. This is a this is a technical fix according to the register of wills. And there was, I mean, in terms of, and and the bar, and there was no opposition. Let me just confirm that. Anyone else? Seeing none, we'll go to the roll call. The vice chair. Yes. yes Munoz. Yes. 
Yes, Crutchfield. Yes. Yes, Cardin. Yes. Yes, Sample Hughes. Yes, yes Embry. Yes. yes, Pasteur. Yes, Tolls. Yes. Yes, Schmidt. Yes, yes Simmons. Yes, Boucher. Yes, Phillips. Yes, yes Roberson. Yes. yes, Tomlinson. Yes, yes Erican. Yes. yes, Taylor. Yes, yes Simpson. Yes, yes Grammer. Yes. yes, Moon. Yes, Valentine. Yes, yes Conaway. <coughs> uh, excused. Kaufman. Yes, yes Williams. Yes. yes. Favorable passes. The next bill, I think, is the first bill that Delegate Kaufman has had on a voting list in this committee. Did we skip Moon? Did I mean to skip Moon? I don't think I meant to scoop Moon. No, I did not mean to skip Moon, but, but since I've already called this bill and got him all excited, let's, uh, I, I don't have the file for 346, so I need the file for 346. And I may have just thrown it over here. I don't know. I'll check in a second. But let's do 432 in the meantime, and then I'll figure out where the file is. Um, okay. So 432, is there a motion? There's a motion for a favorable and a second. Anybody have any discussion on this bill? Nope. All right. And I guess we'll have to vote it then. The vice chair? Yes. Yes. Munoz? Yes, Crutchfield. Yes, yes Cardin. Yes. yes, Sample Hughes. Yes, Embry. Yes, yes Pasteur. I think I heard yes. yes. Tolls. Yes, Schmidt. No. no. Simmons. Yes. yes, Boucher. Yes, Phillips. Yes, yes Roberson. <coughs> yes, Tomlinson. Yes, Erican. Yes, Taylor. Yes, Simpson. Yes, Grammar. Yes, Moon. Yes, Valentine. Yes, Conaway. Yes, Williams. Yes. Yes. Oh, did I miss somebody? Yes, for Williams Kaufman. <laughs> I, I, I'm, in, I, I'm introducing this bill in memory of my brother, so I'm doing this for him. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> yes, I believe the vote is 20. Oh, does Delegate Schmidt wish to be recognized? Yes. Schmidt to yes. Schmidt, Schmidt is a co sponsor of the bill. That's fine. 432, it's, uh, the, the uh, chair will vote aye, uh, 24. All right. Okay. Uh, let's do these other. This is a whole, right? You said we were going to do that one. You can do it tomorrow. Yeah, that's fine. All right, well, we're going to do 346 tomorrow. Um, I just need to check about one more thing on 346. We're going to also hold 3854 because there may be an... Oh, well, you don't have 854 anyway, so whatever. That's fine. <laughs> so we're definitely not voting that bill. House Bill 690. There is, yes, there's a motion for a favorable and a second. Is there discussion? Nope. Seeing none. The vice chair? Yes. Yes, Munoz? Yes. Yes, Crutchfield? Yes. Yes, Cardin? Yes. Yes, Sample Hughes? Yes. yes Embry? Yes. yes, Pasteur? Yes. Yes, Tolls? Yes. yes, Schmidt? Yes. yes, Simmons? Yes, Boucher? Yes, yes Phillips? Yes, yes Roberson? Yes. yes, Tomlinson? Yes, yes Erican? Yes, T uh, Taylor, yes, yes Simpson, yes. yes, Grammar, yes, Moon, yes, Valentine, yes, yes Conaway, yes. yes, Kaufman, yes, yes Williams. Yes. All right. 
So we are going to vote tomorrow as well. Oh, we needed an unfavorable. That's right. There was one. No, we did those. You weren't here. You weren't. You were not here. We are going to tomorrow. Oh, I really think it's time for people to leave at this point. I really do. Um, so tomorrow um, we will have another voting session, and my goal is to do it right after the, the after the floor. So we'll come back here, vote, and then and let you get on your way. And I now would like to recognize Delegate Pasteur, please, to recognize someone who is in the room. Round of applause for Karina Costa, who has been shadowing me today, other than the part where she just had to leave judiciary for a minute for her sanity. <laughs> And she asks a lot of questions. Bless her. <laughs> uh, would the committee entertain a motion because there were two bills for which Delegate Sample Hughes and Delegate uh, Williams were out of the room, and I think they were all unanimous otherwise. Does the, anyone object to us allowing them to potentially vote on those bills? House Bill 5, Delegate Sample Hughes, how would you vote? He votes yes. Delegate Williams on House Bill 5 would vote yes. On, delegates, uh, on uh, House Bill 70, Delegate Sample Hughes, how would you vote? Yes. yes. All right. So uh, we didn't. We held House Bill 8. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We held House Bill 8. All right. So that finishes today at. 3.30. Do not, oh wait, there's uh, questions down, Delegate Schmidt. I would like to introduce my sponsor, Joshua, from uh, the University of Maryland. He's got the big uh, Terp pin on, so we want to welcome him as well. Go Terps. Delegate Boucher. Well, I have you know that some shadow today has been traumatized by shadowing me, and it's Neil Singh. Neil, would you stand up? It was a tough duty, but he held out. On behalf of all of us, we apologize, Mr. Singh. Anyone else? All right. Thank, <laughs> Thank you all very much. We're adjourned.